winky face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Say no more. Hi, we're here from Arts Umbrella. I am Patrick O'Neill, the Artistic Director of Art and Design. I'm Erica Babbins, the Coordinator of Theatre, Music, and Film. I'm Andy Toff, the Associate Artistic Director for Theatre, Music, and Film. And I'm Luke McBain, the Media Arts Instructor and Illustration Teacher. And we're here to try a serious game from the Consulate of France. We'll get going. All right. Let's run it. We got mail. Fantastic. From the Culture Network team, subject job offer. We thought that this position might interest you. Wink. Winky face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Say no more. Love the design of the block character, pixelated characters. That's fun. Yeah. Um, Seems fun for a serious game. Yeah. Complete making choices for the five categories to set up the hub. Because it is like, it's hitting kind of close to home here. Yeah. yeah. There's what more fun want? options and there's more serious yeah. options. <laughs> I think what struck me most about that game was how it provoked conversations uh, among all of us kind of around the computer and around the game. And then we're getting scorings here. I guess there's like these, so yeah. these bars uh, as we make decisions. Oh. Okay, it oh, shows wow. us how the decisions that we make affect different aspects. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> oh this is great. I think kind of really provoked an interesting dialogue uh, about the, the the merits and choices of what can be a complex conversation, but really drops down into really basic um, kind of decisions that will either align with your vision and who you are or not. And I thought that was really, really actually really fascinating to be to be to use that as a tool to provoke those conversations. I found the game very effective in um, asking us to make simple decisions but also showing us the ramifications of those decisions and how those decisions affect all kinds of different parameters within the organization. And it helps organizations that are somewhat linear in their thinking understand how one decision actually has a web of effects. Yeah. So that people who might be playing the game would get a sense of um, how powerful decision-making can be and what the, the value of those decisions can be to other departments within the organization. The categories felt so big and daunting and then they got kind of broken down and being able to really piecemeal the parts that were important to us and, and then start to build upon those values as we were growing was really cool to see how it all came together. That gamification just allowed such, a, such an easy way to, to have maybe hard critical conversations in a fun lighthearted way and get to really fun cool solutions at the same time you're just like in it and you're enjoying yourself this is great yeah. this is very great this is so good yeah. yeah and it's so dynamic especially with the graphics and the interface and it's just so easily to move around and i think it's just going to be such a benefit uh, for anyone who plays it just the, the thought-provoking questions and the the writing as well as just the character design like it's really fun and you feel almost like the sense of responsibility as you kind of orchestrate your world.